Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Sundlin with your flash briefing. Health experts are worried the coronavirus could become a pandemic, meaning that it would be an epidemic on two or more continents. More than 420 people have died in China and more than 20,000 people have become sick worldwide. There have been 11 confirmed cases in the U.S. Some countries are taking extreme measures to stop the spread. However, the World Health Organization called some countries' restrictions excessive. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services announced yesterday that it's making nearly $250 million of emergency funds available to cover the coronavirus response. That would include a list of screening and monitoring and all the costs that go with that for those who are returning to the U.S. in the coming weeks. We have new information in connection with the deadly stabbing in Hartford last night. Police in the capital city say they have located their person of interest. 25-year-old John Satkunas is in custody after a man in his 50s was found with multiple stab wounds. The unidentified man was in a common hallway of a building on Bellevue Street about 5.30 p.m. He died at St. Francis Hospital. Police do say this was not a random act and the public is not at risk. Fugitive task force members located at Kunis on Franklin Avenue. More information is expected to be released later on today. A Catholic elementary school in New Britain may be closing its doors for good at the end of the current school year. Critically low enrollment numbers are the biggest issue for the Sacred Heart School. 58 students currently attend Sacred Heart, which is pre-K through 8th grade, just ahead of the school's 125th anniversary. A lot of students are hoping they can make it to see that milestone. Well, three-time Travelers Championship winner Bubba Watson is coming back to the tournament this summer. Watson returns to Cromwell, Cromwell that is, in June. Watson's first career PGA Tour victory game happened at the TPC River Highlands back in 2010. The Travelers Championship this year is from June 22nd until the 28th. All right, and weather-wise, after a few showers this morning, the afternoon actually will feature some partial clearing, at least, as we head toward the evening commute. We should see the clouds break up a bit. And while there will be initially some clearing, clouds move back in tonight and after midnight. At least there's a chance for a passing rain or snow shower. Shouldn't have a big impact on the morning commute uh, for our Wednesday, as it's going to be basically done and over by then. Uh, and then through the day tomorrow for our Wednesday, morning cloudiness gives way to afternoon clearing. Now, uh, we're looking at a more substantial round of precipitation coming tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And here's the timing on that with Futurecast. Uh, as we head through Wednesday evening, we're still quiet across the state, but as we get closer to the Thursday morning commute, and this is when we have issued or declared an early warning weather alert, just to give you that extra heads up that the commute could be a bit uh, troublesome. We've got snow that transitions over to an icy mix of sleet and freezing rain. That mix line will move farther north as the morning progresses. Eventually, rain moves in from south to north as temperatures will be warming up a bit. So as we head into the uh, later morning and early afternoon hours of Thursday, looking for scattered rain showers and then a more substantial round of rain is coming um, Thursday night to Friday morning. More on that in just a moment. With the Thursday morning commute initially we could see a coating to an inch of snow, maybe some two inch totals up near the Massachusetts border. Then on top of that we've got the sleet and the freezing rain uh, that could uh, make matters worse, especially on untreated surfaces. So we'll keep you updated as we move forward in time. Uh, but then again by Thursday afternoon it's, it's areas of light rain. The rain fills in, becomes steadier and heavier Thursday night into Friday morning. Uh, uh, so a wet commute can be expected Friday morning. We could see an inch or two of rain before the system winds down. And on the back side, colder air is going to be filtering in. So we could briefly, by Friday afternoon, see a little bit of a transition over to uh, some snow before it all wraps up. So in our seven-day forecast, again, for our Wednesday, some clearing highs near 40, near 40 on Thursday after that uh, alert early Thursday. And then Friday, rain switching over to perhaps a little snow as it wraps up and for the upcoming weekend uh, dry with some sunshine on Saturday, but seasonably cold highs in the 30s, a little bit milder on Sunday with a chance at least for some snow over the second half of the weekend back into the 40s for Monday of next week and their shoreline highs turning colder as we head toward the weekend, but then rebounding early next week. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.